Cleaver and Co. Sources, um, sources meat from small independently owned farms. We buy the whole animal, we hang it in our cool rooms, we cut it up, we don't buy any box meat, all free range, um, grass fed, grass finished where we can. Just let the customer know exactly where stuff comes from and, uh, and how it's been raised. My background is, uh, yeah, butchery straight out of school pretty much. I found butchery appealing, the traditional aspect of it, old world, that community aspect to it, getting to know people, being known around, around town, that basic sort of simplicity of it, I guess. There's quite a big divide really between the customer and, and the farmer. Um, and a lot of the times, the butcher doesn't have the answers that the customer really wants. I didn't really know how I was going to do it, but I wanted to get uh, get meat in the shop that was coming straight from the farms, and I could look someone in the eye and say, oh, this is from here, this is the farmer, um, this is what has been fed. That's sort of the ethos of the shop, in terms of like having that direct line of sight from the consumer to the producer, to have as least or little, if not a positive environmental impact in the way that we're sourcing the meat. Over the, over the years we've sort of ended up with probably 20 plus farms we, we get stuff from. Just finding like-minded people that are keen to, to also have that, that vision of you know, dealing directly with customers and, and, and knowing where their beef's going to is a bit of, uh, I guess a bit of romanticism, a bit of nostalgia in there. Similar to how it's always been done, the shop's nothing new, it's, um, it's sort of how, how butcher shops all used to be. Yeah, I love that aspect of it, uh, talking to customers, knowing people's names, knowing their, you know, their orders, what their sort of usual thing is and chilling the fat with them and uh, hanging out with the boys in there and um, it's just a good, good trade. I like that we're doing something different here but realistically if I really want the, the industry to change um, I want to see other shops popping up like like Cleaver & Co, sourcing farm direct meats, people thinking more about how they're, how they're eating meat, not necessarily seeing meat as, as bad for the environment, but realising that um, it's not as simple as that. It's pretty sort of cold, messy work at times, but it's fulfilling, it's meaningful, and yeah, just want more people to be attracted to it, I guess, yeah.